Well, hello and welcome to today's video. Hey, I'm going to crush up some Alaska gold ore and see what kind of gold we can get out of it. So I've been looking for some ore to crush in my little crusher here for quite a while, but I'm tired of crushing just rock with no visible gold in it. So I found this and I purchased it. It is uh, five pounds of ore from an Alaskan gold mine. They guarantee one gram of gold. And if this pans out right, I will tell you where you can get some, um, a way you can save some money on it, all that good stuff. I just thought this was a fun project to do in the middle of the winter. And it's like 10 degrees outside today, so I'm going to sit here in my shed and crush this up. Like I said, I'll tell you where I got it from, all that stuff. But first we're going to crush it up and see. I just think it's cool that you can actually do this instead of buying bags of pay dirt. Where you pan it out, you're done in five minutes. This is going to take some doing to get the gold out of this. Really nice looking stuff. So I believe he sent me this one just as a sample piece. So I will take that out. And this was the five pounds of ore. Really, really nice looking stuff. I took my loop to it. Um, I can see some, vis see some visible gold on it. So here my process that I use for crushing up ore is this little crusher here. A little jaw crusher um, I, everybody always asks me where I get it I bought it on eBay the guy puts them up from time to time <clears throat> so that's where I got it um, it's just a little jaw crusher I can hook my 3 8 drill up to it with a half inch chuck and we have it and all the stuff finds down there now it, this jaw crusher does not crush it all the way down to powder I'm um, a lot of it will but a lot of it won't so what I use is a food blender now it works very well for just pulverizing this stuff into just super super fines just like dust and powder you can see it here on the side here <clears throat> just powder but as you can imagine they don't last a long time I've used this a lot and <laughs> look at the blades they're pretty wore down to nothing but I have two more here. I've got one. I buy them at the like the Goodwill or secondhand store. I usually pay three to five bucks for them. So I'm all good with that. I got one here slightly used. And then this one I haven't used at all. So we should be just fine there. Um, I'm going to screen it down or classify it down. This is a 40 mesh screen. So I can classify it down that way. And then I'll probably use my cyclone bowl to get the ore out. I really want to try that with this super fine gold to see if it works. So let's get some ore. I'm going to have to crush some of this smaller for my little crusher here. Um, if you do decide to do something like this, be sure to always wear a mask. I've got one here and... This point in time, I guess we're all getting kind of used to that, right? But I do have my mask so I don't be breathing this stuff in. Um, it's just like glass on your lungs, so you don't want to be breathing it. But let me get this turned on and we'll crush them with this up. All right, I got my mask on. And we'll just take this. It's got to be pretty small pieces to go through this little jaw crusher. And it comes with a little plastic lid. So you can put that on there just to keep things from
that eats it up pretty well. Got to keep it spinning pretty good though. crushing up that five pounds of ore took me a couple hours and boy some of that stuff was hard um, here's my minus 20 and I've got there separated out this is everything or minus 40 this is all plus 40 so there's quite a bit of it there to go through now um, I did take this outside just so it's not so dang dusty to classify this stuff but we will get the blender going up here we'll put some in there and this is a dusty proposition that in there bring it up you can tell my blender is not in the best shape it's around a little bit of rock Let that calm down a bit. Boy, that's some dusty stuff. Yeah, let's just see how well it did. Well, yeah. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it. Turned it to powder pretty well. And repeat. Put a little bit more in there. Turn that on. Well, the blender worked pretty well. Got it all ground up. Um, I've been at it total probably about four hours now to get this five pounds of ore ground up. But it's done. This is all uh, minus 40. And I did go ahead and start another pan. This is minus 20. Uh, very time consuming to get that to that. We'll see how it goes. I can always save it and... Uh, crush it down even more but I think I'm done for now I got a little bit of oversized left just a hair just a pinch there but I think I will set up the cleanup sluice with my micro mat I think we'll do fine on that the silicone mat of course and probably set up the cyclone bowl and get this out so but I think that's enough for today. I'll be back tomorrow and see if we can get this process down. See you later. Well, I'm back to run this crushed ore that I got all crushed up. Um, I'm only going to wet it a little bit at a time and run through the sluice. Um, it's super, super cold out here. I think it was four below this morning. But the sun's starting to come out. It's going to be a gorgeous day and cold so I have not ever ran the go the ore on the silicone mats but this will be a first try so we'll see how it goes I think it's going to work well I'm using my micro silicone mat with a little drop riffle in the middle there uh, my water's starting to freeze up I'm using my 2000 gallon an hour pump but I've got a speed controller there that I'll be using to control the speed of the motor instead of a valve. Um, guess that's it. Let me get this thing fired up and see how she's going to run. 
Well, I went ahead and ran, uh, I guess, minus or uh, minus 20, plus 40, I guess you'd call it. And I'm seeing a little bit of gold in there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Just from the lighting, but there is some gold in there. But I'm having issues. I had to run in the house, get some hot water, because everything was freezing up. Um, I got ice all over the place. I probably should have waited a few hours, but I didn't. Um, instead of cleaning this out, which will be a chunk of ice by the time I get done, I'm just going to go ahead and run this fine powder. I'll have to adjust the water flow a little bit, but I think it'll ju work just fine. We shall see. Yep, going to have to turn down the water flow just a little bit. Well, I'm back. I'm done running the material. I'm just letting this clean out a bit. I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. But I can see... Gold... Right in here. I can see some pretty good solid lines, but it's super, super fine. Let me try... I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got gold in there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out, get it in a pan, try and clean it up. Um, as soon as I shut this off, it's probably going to turn to ice. I don't know if this was the best <laughs> day to do this. I might be going through my tailings again, getting the rest. I'm sure I will. But so we'll see what I recover with my mat, and I'll be back. Well done going through all that material and that is what I recovered all right at a half a gram of gold. Well that was fun getting that uh, ore out of there but uh, there should have been more gold in there than that but I know where it is. Um, I checked the tailings from the sluice. I panned those all out. Um, all the tailings. I guess my silicone mat was probably 95% effective so I did recover a little bit more there so the only other place it could be is that stuff that was minus 20 plus 40 they're guessing there's still gold in that and no I didn't get it all panned up that stuff is super 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 fine um, so I've got some more processing to do to get the rest of the gold out of that ore um, if anybody would like to try their luck at it um, I thought it was fun. I'm sure I'll do it again. But where you get it is theminerstable.com. Um, and if you order from them, you can use the coupon code ALLEN. I think all capital letters. You can save 5% on your order. He also has a monthly membership club um, and a bunch of other stuff and discounts and stuff like that. Or you can get ore sent to you every month, anything like that. But check it out. Um, I'll put a link in the description below the video um, for the minerstable.com. And check that out uh, if you're interested in getting some ore. Um, yeah, so that was a fun video. Still working on the hand sluice idea. Um, working on some new molds. Those of you who contact me right now about molds for the silicone mats they're not available right at the moment i hope to have a new website up soon uh, anyway i think that's it and when i do i'll put a link in this description to where you can get the molds so anyway thanks for watching everybody we'll catch you next time bye now